You are now listening to the homily of Father McGowan, priest and member of the Discalced Carmelite Order. This service is provided by the Lexio Divina team, part of the LOV Verbum Dei Ministry, who invites you all to share this reflection and their love for the Word of God. The Gospel is the good news of salvation for mankind. That salvation is only through Jesus Christ, as Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Greetings to all who are listening and especially to the Love Verbum Dei uh, family members. The Gospel is from Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 34. Jesus felt sorry for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. This is a familiar theme in the Gospel, that of sheep and shepherd. A shepherd is someone who cares and looks after his sheep, and that is what the church expects of bishops. Last week I found out that a friend of mine has just been made a bishop an auxiliary bishop in Liverpool. Canon Tom Nayland and I have known each other ever since we began at Ashall College Seminary in Durham back in 1976. He was just 18, I was 26. At the end of our training, we were both ordained together and we tried to meet up for our anniversary every year. So I was so happy to hear that he had been made a bishop. Will he be the kind of bishop that Christ wants? I hope so. I believe he will because he is humble and he is a man of prayer. And as a bishop, he will need prayer. To be a bishop isn't about privilege, even less about power. It's about service. And if a bishop has come to serve, then he will be the kind of bishop that Christ wants. Indeed, he will be like Christ. In the Gospel, we see that Christ feels sorry for the people who are following him. Indeed, they won't leave him alone. Everywhere he goes, they follow. He needs a rest, but his heart melts when he sees them. They're like a sheep without a shepherd. In other words, vulnerable, anxious, and a little lost. They believe in him, Why else would they follow him around if they didn't believe in him? My friend, the new bishop, must earn people's trust. They will listen to him if they do. He will guide them along the right path, as the psalmist said. He will also help them when they walk in the valley of darkness. Who hasn't walked in that proverbial valley of darkness? It is one of the less attractive experiences of life, but most, if not all of us, have experienced it. And there can be many reasons why we walk through this darkness, but the actual experience is the same, of being lost, alone, frightened, confused, despairing even. It's not called the valley of darkness for no reason. And at such times we need help and support. We need someone to get us out and take us back into the light. That is what a good shepherd will do. That is the role of the bishop. 
as the psalmist says, near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. And when you have gone through the valley of darkness and are back in the light, you will be a better person because you will know that it was Christ, the Good Shepherd, who got you through it. You will have learned a most important lesson, that in the moments of greatest darkness, he is beside you to encourage you, to love you back into those fresh and green pastures. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lexio Divina team hopes that this homily has helped you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. You can send us your prayer intentions by emailing them to us using the following email address lov underscore verbum de v-e-r-b-u-m-d-e-i at outlook.com The Ministry Prayer Group gathering is at 6.30pm UK time and Father McEwen will pray particularly for these prayer intentions. Once again, if this homily and podcast has enlightened or touched you in any way, please share it with your relatives, friends, community and on your social media platforms. Have a blessed week everyone. And may God bless you, I pray.